It works no matter what you do. Ball waffle. Pillow talk. Hi everyone and welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been like, we were in Europe for six it years. feels like forever. What do you have there, Adriana? It's called a, um, a creative cursing profanity generator. So we're gonna be using this. So if you don't like curse words, Turn this off now. So as you can tell by the title of this week's video, it's How to Marry a Canadian. And I think depending on tomorrow, what happens, a lot of our U.S. subscribers might find this video quite interesting. But tomorrow's a big day for our friends in that South Old America, where they're going um, to nominate Hillary Clinton or... or diaper beater for president of the United States. I feel like we're on the possible eve of an apocalypse. I feel like if this was any other presidential race, meat fungus would never have made it this far. America, please <laughs> do not elect tampon flaps as your next president. But do you know what, Sarah? If bitch eater does get elected it benefits me okay because okay. i've wanted a wife for a long time now yeah. and if granny lover becomes president tomorrow i think i will get one very quickly mm -hmm. i feel mm -hmm. like a lot of u.s citizens U.S. gay be, ladies. U.S. gay ladies are going to be running to Canada. So how to marry a Canadian, step one, travel to Toronto. Travel to Toronto. Or travel to the city of your choice. But, Sarah, if Schlong Flaps gets elected, you could go to none of it and it'd be better than being in a country run by pube clot. I think the world is worried. It was interesting when we were in, in Europe mm -hmm. and they're worried. If anyone watching is a sperm sandwich supporter, uh, make sure you vote on November 22nd. So how to marry a Canadian? It is easy though. We are all desperate. I, I feel There's like- There's not a lot of us though. So, I mean, for every one Canadian, I think there are like 300 Americans. Right, so this tutorial is helpful <clears throat> because it'll yeah. better their chances. Exactly. Right. Don't delay is basically what I'm saying. You should marry me right away. Don't think twice. Oh, before. So you want to get married before tomorrow. Well. So that they're locked in. I don't think that's the worst idea. Right. But then, you know, if Hillary does get elected, we can get it annulled if you want. Oh. And who wouldn't want to be a Canadian? We're pretty rad, guys. Let's yeah. tell some some of the great facts about Canada that maybe they don't know. Um, a Canadian invented penicillin. Wow, what a that was an actual fact. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna go for real facts. Uh, so. <laughs> we have Ellen Page, Celine Dion, Justin Bieber. We're going with the best, and then you said Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, you're saying lesbian. Canadians? We sent him to the states He's for a, a lesbian. Reason. Tatiana Maslany, is she could marry. 15 different people. Oh my god, that would be a public service. So. Good fact, Canada won the War of 1812, and if you're gonna marry a Canadian, you should know that. You should know that. Also, what's great about Canada is our health care. Twat Slammer said that Canadians don't like our health care, but I don't think he's ever been to Canada. I love going to the doctor for free. I love being like, oh, my nose is stuffy. I'm gonna go to the doctor. There are many perks of being in Canada and being a Canadian. Mm -hmm. Married to me is one of them. Not only are we in Canada, but Elise and Natasha are also from this great land. And I haven't talked to them, but I'm pretty sure they'll marry any of you as well. <laughs> hashtag marry a Canadian. I think that's what the application process should be. Everyone should hashtag marry a Canadian. And then we go through and, then we'll and, go through. and we pick who we want. Justine's up for grabs. Right. Winnie is engaged, but I'm sure she'll blow that off for one of you. Yes. This is a good cause, and Winnie's a good person. Yeah. So. Any of you bisexuals, Justin's gay, but again, he for understands the, few, the consequences. The few gay men watching. For the few gay men watching, yeah. Yeah. Uh, good luck tomorrow, America. Uh, just remember. You always have Canada. And let's make sure 
fetus tickler goes back into the hole he was created in. <laughs> Thumbs up for Hillary. Yeah. And starting next week, Wednesday videos are back. Oh my goodness. What kind of videos do we have coming up? Straight Girls Anonymous. Some twats named Kristen and Kristen. Cooking with Lesbians. That awful show where the person that knows nothing about cooking decides to cook. So, it really starting Wednesday videos with all your favorites. Leave a comment with who you would want, what Canadian you would want to marry. Any Canadian. Pick They're a Canadian. All up for grabs. Who would you want to marry? Alright, thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you guys next Monday. Goodbye. Maybe we'll see you in person next Monday. Because we'll be married to you. Oh, that's true. And then we'll have a lot of people in bed with us. <laughs> Questions that you should ask your date on a date. On a first date. On a first date. Because you gotta know if you gotta just get the fuck out of there right away. And then she might know if she needs to get the fuck out of there after she hears some of these questions. You got, like, you're on Tinder and you got 50 dates lined up. You don't have time to waste on someone that is not worth your time.